G'day guys, Mitch here from Finance Fitness Coaching. Just a quick one today on the psychology or really the scamming from the stage. Now I'm pretty sure you've all been to the sales seminar or the wealth seminar by some guru or crew that um, you know you walked away not really not doing, you know you spent some money but you don't know what you're doing or more sadly is you bought some product or you, um, you know, bought a property from there you know, or you bought their trading system or their sales system. So I want to, while I do seminars, I don't sell any product, okay? We don't sell at Finance Fitness Coaching and the Money Mentors Club uh, and all the information seminars and stuff that I'm a part of. We do not sell investment product. We only sell education. And what you do with that education is up to you, okay? Very important that we don't have our other past students in the back of the room to try and JV with you, as you'll see in a lot of those real estate success type stuff. But, scamming from the stage. Now, the first thing they do is they put on loud music, intensify emotions, powerful titles and PowerPoint in images. The presenter will always have a rags to riches story, um, and they'll always have some of the guest speakers. Now, what a lot of people don't understand is the guest speakers actually pay to attend. And the attendee or the, the person putting on the seminar gets a cut of what all those people pay for. So say you buy a $3,000 package, the person putting on the seminar has, has charged that person to, to attend and also takes a little bit of a cut of what they sell. They erode resistance. So they have a long day. So, you know, this seminar might be a long time. So you go for a late night, you're tired, emotional, it'll be a cold environment, so you stay alert. And in some cases, and it's been proven that the Office of State Revenue, that they're going to put up some examples of previous students and you know that are just not true. Or they were once the investor of the year, now they're bankrupt and destitute. So very important that you have a listen and, and just see where this advice is coming from. So understand that they're eroding resistance by the long days, the cold environment, and the late nights. So they also like to bolster their credibility. So you'll see a photo, they'll be partnering with uh, Richard Branson or Arnold Schwarzenegger, etc. etc. They'll have photos with other gurus, they'll bring out a wheel of charts and statistics, and they'll have previous students come up, maybe even tell their story. You know, this is what I did, thanks to this person and thanks to that person. So, this is another one of the psychology of scamming you from that stage. Number four, they sell the dream and they sell the solution. So, you too can have five houses. This is what it's going to be like when you have that dream. And then at the back of the room, we just happen to have some guys that will help you sell it, you know, buy you those five houses. Or some financial planner that will help you do this. Or some share market guy that will give you a black box trading system where well, you don't have to do anything and you make a $1,000 a month. So it's really important. That is not going to be true, okay? So they sell the dream. They sell the, the solution. They have pushy sales techniques. And there's a back of the room. There's a sales team, okay? Very important that, that you understand what they're doing to you. They introduce scarcity into the offer. Limited time. Today only. There's limited numbers. So... I might stop this campaign this time next year. You might never get me ditching you again. So you need to join up now. So they introduce scarcity as another scamming techniques. They up the offer as well, number six. So for a limited time, it's 29997, but we're going to add content. We're going to add some downloads. We're going to give you some free CDs. We're going to add a bonus. And if you pay $1,000 more, your partner can come for free. So another one of the psychology of scamming techniques. Number seven, they reward the early adopters. The first person to say, yes, I'm in, will get rewarded. You know, there'll be applause. That person may get a, a bonus or the guru's little email address to specifically ask questions all year long, etc., etc. Number eight, eight, sorry, they plant fake buyers. So this is something to do with the early adopter rule. There's someone in the inner circle. That person is usually getting it for free, but they've been there all weekend, they're a fake buyer, and then, oh, I'm an early adopter, help me, and then everyone rewards and takes on board with that and gets in on the, gets in on the thing. Number nine, shame. If you don't make this decision, if you don't do this, then if not, when? When are you going to be free? When are you going to buy this thing? 
you know, that sort of stuff. They, they introduce shame. They, they tell you to think big, not small. They break down the costs. It's just one cup of coffee a day. And they offer financing. They say, well, if you can't afford it, we can give you a GE personal loan or a Latitude personal loan to help you pay for it. Those are the sort of techniques that they use. Number 10, they withdraw the offer. This is the last time I'm going to do this course. This is the last time that you're going to get me to teach you how to be wealthy and rich. This is the last places, you know, I'm nearly filled up with all my spots and you don't want to miss out. So 10 things they're doing to scam you from the stage. I want to educate you and teach you about that. I was part of a seminar circuit series for many, many years. I went out and left it because I didn't have, um, you know, I have edification and morals. <laughs> so very important that you understand this. Please leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know what you think. Tell me about this content, whether you like it or not. And I'll see you at a seminar soon. One that has morals.